Combo Fellow Dreamers, in today's video, I'm participating in an organization collab. Home Staging by Tori Toth kind of corralled us all together to participate in this collab. We're going to share with you something that's been working well to keep us organized and a project to keep us organized in 2016. So what's been working really well for me, and that's part of what I'm doing for 2016, are my calendars. Calendar management has been helping me out so much, and I'm doing a little bit of tweaking this year to help keep me a little bit better focused and more organized in the different businesses that I run. So let's go ahead and jump in. So this is my trifecta of how I keep my life and businesses organized. I manage four businesses out of my house. I'm a music teacher and a music performer. I play the flute and so I play in various orchestras and I also teach music to students who play flute, piccolo, clarinet, and saxophone. I teach six days a week. And so besides that, I also manage so social media for clients. I manage social media for myself. So the, you know, my little blog and YouTube channel that you're watching right now. And then I also sell Young Living Essential Oils. And so those are my four main businesses, plus my home obligations, which should be a business in and of itself. But anyway, so um, the way that I manage all of those four businesses, I actually have three different planners slash calendars and it's just something that makes sense for me. But it might be overwhelming to you guys, I don't know. So this is my phone, this is a 6S, I love it, it's fantastic. So the first thing that I have on here is my square reader. Sometimes my students' parents pay me with credit cards, so I use that. So my calendar app is actually my BFF, honestly. It keeps me so organized with appointments that I have that are out of the house, like doctor's appointments, or when I have music lessons coming to my house, I teach out of my home. And so I have all of those appointments in here as well. And then if I have a rehearsal or a performance out of the house, I put that in here too. Or if there's something else kind of going on, if I have like a repair person coming over, or if it's somebody's birthday, something that I need a reminder for, I put in my calendar app. And I do that because it gives me reminders. It gives me like little notifications 10 minutes ahead of time. And that helps to keep me on track and knowing what I'm doing. Now I used to have all of my work obligations, like uh, kind of like a to-do list in my calendar. And that got so overwhelming. First of all, all of the notifications every 10 minutes telling me I had to do something was just too much. And I know that you can turn notifications off for some things, but you know, I, if I'm going to put it in here, if it's important enough to be in here, I want to be notified about it. I don't know. It's just a personal thing. So I took out all of those things that I no longer need, like the to-do list stuff. I don't need that in my calendar. It's just too overwhelming and it's too hard to like navigate and read. So I took all of that stuff out and now that's in this notebook here. So that's really it for my phone. I don't have a whole lot of other uh, things in here as far as staying organized with my business. Um, I have all of my social media apps that I post for my businesses on, but besides that, that's really it. So then this is an ARC planner by M. It's the um, Staples brand is really what it is. And it's a DIY notebook. And this is a five by seven. And how you do it at Staples is you buy everything separate. So you buy the cover separate, you buy the ring separate, all the little accessories, you buy those separately too, like little tab dividers and things like that. Um, and then you can pick and choose of what you want in here. So I decided to have it mostly a calendar with a little bit of planner pages as well, but you can get blank note pages. I mean, there's so many different options. So if you're looking to make a customized planner that's not going to break the bank, check this out from Staples. It's in the back of the store, not in the planner section. It's in the notebook section. So take a look at that. All right. So here is my month at a glance as far as YouTube videos go. This is a rough estimate. You know, it's not set in stone. The only one that's actually set in stone for the month of January is the video you're watching. It's part of a collab. All these other ones are kind of just as I get to it, you know, and it's there. If I don't get to a video one week, it's okay. It's not the end of the world, but I like to just have it laid out so I can look at the month at a glance and just know, you know, this week I have to film three videos. Okay. No big deal. If it doesn't go up on Wednesday and instead goes up on Thursday, totally fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I like to have all of these kind of mapped out and it just, I don't know, it makes it easier for me to, to plan my day around. So besides that, then it also has daily 
places where you can write in your to-do list or whatever. So just for Monday, I need to make sure that my collab video, the one you're watching right now, is uploaded at the right time. And then I also have a little to-do list and I do have things color-coded. Um, these are more like home things um, in blue. The green here is a YouTube video that I need to film that you'll be seeing later this week. And then the pink thing is a really important thing that I need to order. So I put that in pink just so it kind of stands out. Now, of course, this is not everything I am doing in any given day. This is just stuff that I don't want to forget to do because it's things that I've been either putting off or, you know, I have to drive my father-in-law to the airport. I need to make sure that that's in here. And that is also in my calendar on my phone as well just so it gives me a notification about 10 minutes before I have to leave and go pick him up. So anyway, this continues on month to month to month, yada, 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 you know, it's all the same. And then back here, I have additional planning pages. And these are just for all of my different businesses um, goals that I want to accomplish. So I have an oil section, I have an Annie Simple Life section, I have a social media, um, my clients section, I have my music section, and then I have my home section. And I'm going to show you the home section. So this I'm planning on doing, if I can, a lot more bulk cooking and freezer cooking, a lot of um, crock pot meals. I actually have two crock pot meals going on right now, and uh, there will be a video coming up about that as well. And it just makes menu planning so much easier because I make nearly everything that we eat from scratch. And it does take a little bit longer, um, but because of dietary restrictions, it's just what you gotta do and you just do it. You know, it's not a big deal. So this is kind of a rough outline of what we were gonna be, you know, eating for the week. And so like Monday is soup night, taco Tuesday, <laughs> pasta with meat on Wednesday, and so on. So just your typical menu plan up here. And then some freezer cooking ideas, things that I want to be making to stock up in the freezer. And then things that I want to do weekly. So crock pot meals for bulk cooking, freezer meals, making ahead or making um, like crock pot freezer kits and um, making ahead snack packs. So things like you could put in the fridge of pre-chopped carrots just in a little Ziploc bag, you know, kind of like that. So then the next page that I have, and I'm going to cover up a name here. Um, this is my daily schedule. All right, so we're planning on getting up at six just to get my husband off to work. So getting up at six, taking my vitamin C around 6.15, I take that on an empty stomach. If you're interested in the vitamin C I take, I will link it in the description bar below. It is very digestive system friendly. So if you have a hard time taking vitamin C, this might be one you wanna check out. Um, and then empty the dishwasher, I have to wait 15 minutes at least before I can eat anything after I take my vitamin C. So I like to have some stuff to do <laughs> before I can eat. So then um, getting my husband's lunch ready at around 6.30, making the bed right after, and then putting in some laundry, doing a little bit of exercise, eating breakfast and showering, and then bringing up the laundry, putting it away, and then getting into my day really um, by 8.30 in the morning. And so starting my emails then, and then if I have any errands, starting those at nine, um, going to the bank or my post, office box, doing some filming from 9 to about 12 or so. And then around noon, I eat my lunch and then I figure out making sure I have what's for dinner figured out. So if I have to start the crock pot, I do that during the 12 o'clock hour while I'm making my lunch as well. So then more work from 1 until about 3-ish. Each day is a little bit different. Sometimes I have students later, sometimes I have students earlier. So this is just kind of a an idea. Um, so I teach from about three to six-ish and then make dinner, clean up from dinner, and then iron a shirt for my husband around 7.30 and then just be done for the evening. You know, I'm tired of working from like dawn, <laughs> sun up to sundown, as I've been doing for the last couple of years. So I want to have a good evening routine set aside where I'm not feeling like I'm working all the time, which is been the case for a couple years. So then the other planner I have is as an essential oil planner and it's just planning out my oil business, um, helping me plan out when I'm doing videos, when I'm posting on Facebook, when I'm following up with people who have had essential oil questions or they want to enroll and they need help enrolling or they've just enrolled and want to know what else to order, you know, that kind of stuff. And I, it's only like the first day of January, so I don't really have a whole lot in here, but a couple of things, you know, just planning out my classes that I'm going to be doing planning out a few little videos here and there. Um, so I really need to dig in and, uh, and map this out completely for my essential oils business. But really, y'all, 
that's it. That's how I keep my life that is so crazy organized. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to check out the description bar below where I will link everybody that is participating in this collab. If you haven't already and you'd like to hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao.